People assume that being classy on social media means having a curated feed, you know, having uh, a pretext feed, you know, brown themed, you know, that's not class. Like, that is not class. babes or oh, what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here hi hello how are you my name is chica feel free to join the family by hitting that subscribe button down below it is absolutely free if you end up enjoying this video please don't forget to like it and of course let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below so in today's video like the topic already suggests i'm going to be telling you guys some social media etiquettes that you probably know about or didn't know about whatever the case is if you're someone that's easily triggered by the truth or take things a bit too personally in a bad way then this is your cue to leave this video i don't want to provoke anybody i'm just here stating facts as always you already know and that this video is not for everybody if you're trying to rebrand yourself as a person if you're trying to you know zhuzh up your look on social media then keep on watching And the most obvious thing is don't post half naked pictures on social media because the truth is if you post this kind of pictures you might not even be that kind of person that is easily accessible you might not be the kind of person that you know is like that in real life but nobody knows and the world that we live in today people assume that who you are on social media is who you are in real life and you can't really blame people because if you can put pictures like that out there then you're trying to get attention and i'm afraid you might get the wrong attention um except you're obviously like a professional model maybe you're a nude model aside from that to be honest posting half naked pictures gives off desperate it gives off tacky it gives off i don't have respect for my body uh like i said i don't want to provoke anybody don't take this the wrong way if you're someone that is easily triggered by the truth uh this is your cue to leave it's too early i don't want to provoke anybody so the second thing is avoid posting quotes that relates to begging for money like is I, i'm embarrassed by some people that i follow like the people that i follow that are basically always posting oh send me money i'm broke yeah we all understand the cruise part of it and um, i'm broke even some people are not really broke but they just posted yeah that's cruise but when it gets too much it gives off begging like it's it's just it's just not a good look it's not a good look to constantly post stuff relating to begging for money if you want to beg someone for money just go straight to their dm and beg them stop posting it on your stories or your timeline it doesn't make sense it's not a good look stop doing that avoid ratchet captions what are ratchet captions you might put something like um put his tongue in i've been able you know just you know what i'm talking about you know those those captions that are just I don't know there's something about that just x me obviously don't want to be painting a bad picture when you post a picture and you don't have a caption just leave it alone or you just post emojis or whatever if you're trying to rebrand yourself these are the tips that you should take um i'm not here to tell you what to post and not what to post but this video like i said is for certain people it's not for everybody so don't post ratchet captions period stop posting sex related content uh it doesn't make sense to me it's giving um give me attention and the wrong type of attention is giving tacky there's a lot of repost on insta story understand the cruise part but when your content is solely based on oh he knocked me this he knocked me that like what kind of people are you expecting to come to your dms now i'm not saying probably probably you're going to say oh you're not leaving for people to come to your dm yeah but then like i said people feel like they know you from social media and it's important to just keep a certain picture you don't want to paint the wrong picture you don't want to attract you already know what i'm about to say so don't post such related content it doesn't make sense it's just not a good look let's not even go get into it too much it's not a good look please. the thing is don't fight in the comment section and i used to be one of those people like you can't talk you can't you can't say shit like i will drag you 
but after months of learning and unlearning it's not a good look to be honest stop fighting in the comments it doesn't make sense i'm sure maybe a year from now or tomorrow you're going to see one of my fight especially when it comes to this bb niger banter i'm always on top of it but it's not a good look especially since i'm trying to rebrand myself i don't want to be caught up in that mess because obviously these people clearly don't know you so <sighs> This one might come out from nowhere. Reduce the comments on celebrity posts. Like, I know this sounds weird, but it's actually true. Like, if you're the kind of person that is always commenting on all these top people, I'm not. I'm not hating you. If you're a fan, like, comment. That's fine if you want to do. But personally, for me, I feel like it's it, it's given that you're everywhere. It's given. I don't know. It's given that you have too much time on your hands, and that's not the picture you're trying to portray. Like I said, I don't want to provoke anybody. <laughs> i don't have strength but the truth is that posting or commenting on every celebrity's picture is just eh. people that are old that will post and they want literally always comment on beyonce's post you can understand that those bad fans but every celebrity i go to genevieve i see you there i go to Rita dominic i see you there i go to uche jombo i see you there i got i see you everywhere like what is going on just stop like just stop thing is reduce the comments on blogs like don't be a gossip a, like a blabber mouth you don't have to have an opinion for every single post i have a couple people that i follow on instagram who are not really close to me but were social media friends if you call it that and they are always in every comment every blog they are either dragging fighting commenting or oh, two-faced and his wife had this issue hmm they'll drop their two cents this one and this one had this issue hmm they'll drop their two cents let's know when to shut up like not everything requires your opinion actually you're not even important or relevant to the situation so i don't see a reason why you should have a comment for every single thing reduce drastically reduced how i comment on blogs Nobody is asking for it. It's just for entertainment. Whatever opinions you have, learn to keep it to yourself. Of course, except it involves, uh, you know, speaking up for someone or defending someone. You know what I'm talking about. But when it comes to entertainment gossip, like, girl, you can talk about it with your friends, but you don't need to give your two cents online because you don't even know who's watching you. You don't know who is looking. If a brand might want to work with you and see some tacky comments you make and it's like, nah. Some people post beautiful pictures. Their feed is well curated, but when they open their mouth, like when they open their mouth to talk, like drop a comment, it's like, mm -mm, I've lost every respect I have for this person. So it's better to be quiet and people will assume that, oh, this person is classy and ambitious. That's open your mouth and, you know, just sound stupid. So you don't want to do that. Not every DM should be responded to. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It just feels like people, everybody has access to you. Now, I understand that social media is for meeting friends. If you're there to meet friends, if you're there to make friends and you want to talk to everybody, that's totally fine. But if you want to have like a filter of the kind of people that come to your DM, then... You definitely don't want to be responding to everybody. Like, we even have time that, that being classy on social media is just about the kind of feed you have. Maybe you're the kind of person that posts one picture, then you put quotes, then you post another one. There's more to that. It's not about that one. Just forget about it. That's cute, but, like, that's not what it's about. That's not everything. People assume that being classy on social media means having a curated feed, you know, having a, a pretext feed, you know, brown themed, you know, that's not class. Like, that is not class and no shade to anybody that has this type of feed. Actually, I wanted to have that type of feed, but I can't keep up. But before I deviate from the topic, I'm basically saying there's more to having class on social media than just posting, uh, having a curated feed. You know, your attitude, the kind of things that you post. Some people, their, their profile is so beautiful, but then they, their story is like, who is this? They're like two different people. And you don't want to give off imposter on social media. Guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that I did not trigger some people. I'm sorry if I did. We're just all trying to improve ourselves, including me. And many things I've mentioned here are things I used to do like three some three to four months ago so we are all learning and unlearning i'm not here to drag anybody i'm not here to provoke anybody i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like this video share comment and of course subscribe on twitter follow me on instagram everything will be linked in the description box down below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye